Hello, hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss about conceptual framework for financial reporting under NDS. So, actually, this introduction to conceptual framework. So, conceptual framework for financial reporting under NDS. Actually, it is not a standard and we should not override any standard. Here, this conceptual framework will provide some assistance to the whoever the uh, the standard is setting the ICIA India uh, uh, account India uh, accounting standard boards we are setting these standards they will provide some assistance in formulating the new India yes, and uh, they want to introduce they will provide the guidance to them the this what they will do the purpose for conceptual framework will be under India yes, they will summarize as follow so they will assist to uh, ICA in formulation of NDIS, formulation of NDIS and we, we were the preparer of financial statement who is preparing the financial statements to develop the accounting policy when there is no NDIS is available for particular transactions if particular transaction there is, is no standard then they will provide the uh, guidance then they will provide the preparation interpreting how we can interpret the standards this will provide this in conceptual framework under India yes. now we will start this with conceptual framework firstly the objective must be objective of general purpose financial reporting objective of general purpose financial report is to provide financial information about the entity for assisting user in decision making whoever the users whoever the users will be there and this framework will provide assistance to that users in decision making and financial statements are not intended to reflect the value of an entity simply financial statements are not intended to reflect the value of the entity and here the in so it does not mean that NDIS are not reflecting usefulness of financial statements as they do not reflect the financial value of the entity is the main so financial information about the economic resource entity climb against the entity and changes resource and assessmenting the amount timing and uncertainty and what is the expectation of return so, so you are investing means you are taking some decision means you are invested so you will expect the returns like dividends principal interest repayment market price and the decision investors this will be there and this IFRS will provide uh, this conceptual framework will provide the assistance now information provided by general purpose whatever the information will be provided the financial position they will provide the financial position and the effect of uh, other events uh, financial performance and cash flow these all will be provided as per their requirement and here the economic resources what are the economic resources claims what, what their uh, position in the market they will provide this information also in there and after that what are the qualitative characteristics of useful for financial information so, so qualitative characteristics for useful for financial management. if financial information used to be useful then it must how so when you we are using some information it must be useful that information is useful when we say that it is useful then that must have some preconditions they will satisfy what is that preconditions then the financial information which is providing financial information whatever the predictive value or confirmative value and it is make it capable of making different decisions making relevant financial information so, so we need to see the fundamental characteristics what is the fundamental characteristics was there and what is the enhancing qualitative characteristics will be there so for that then only we decide that relevant financial statement this information is relevant otherwise this information is irrelevant for us so for that we need to see the relevant or irrelevant for that relevant or irrelevant we will see the qualitative characteristics so what are the fundamental qualitative characteristics will be there fundamental characteristics will be the information which is provided will be relevant for her the relevant information need to be provided 
and the information will be all will be faithful representation will be provided only relevant information need to be provided relevant financial information that information will be relevant and after that the information will be faithful representation faithful representation means what it must be provide completely and it must be neutral that is free from bias and it must be free from errors that is faithful representation so in financial information it is to be useful only when it have fundamental characteristics and enhancing qualitative characteristics fundamental qualitative characteristics means relevant information and faithful representation relevant information whatever the required information we need to provide and faithful representation means it must to be complete and it must to be neutral and it must to be free from errors this is mainly and where we are uh, going with uh, applying this fundamental qual quality to characteristics after we need to know the enhancing quality to characteristics enhancing quality to characteristics means this whatever the information provided it must be comparable with other entities and it must to be verifiability the information which is different knowledge and independent observers they need to reach consensus so they mean to verifiability then timeliness so timeliness will information will be available to the decision maker in time whenever the information influencing their decision for example the company is going to pay the dividend in october so before the october if company is provided financial statement the user will understand and user may invest the whether they will get the dividend or not and understandability this understandability the classifying characteristic presenting information will be clear and consist so when we say that financial information is useful only when it have fundamental quality to characteristic fundamental quality to characteristic and enhancing quality to characteristics what is there in fundamental quality to characteristics one will be relevant information it must be relevant information another one will be faithful representation faithful representation means what when it will be uh, complete and when it will be neutral and when it will be free from material errors this then it will be said had uh, fundamental quality to characteristics and enhancing quality to characteristics means it must be comparable it must be comparable and it must to be verifiability and it must to be timeliness and it must to be understandability then only it will the information which is provided the financial information will be useful if the dad does not have this both quality to characteristic it is waste of time seeing that information next term the cost constraint on useful financial information so what is role of cost here we need to see the role of cost the financial statements role of cost will be see role of cost role of cost and financial information impose some cost which must be justified by benefiting of reporting the information here for the cost what is the base basis need to see basis of assessment of cost assess whether the benefit of reporting information can justify the cost incurred on the basis of quantitative and qualitative information so we need to see the quantitative information and qualitative information that quantitative qualitative so information so will providing which justifying that cost which is incurred will get the benefit next for that after that we need to see the cost perspective cost perspective will be cost and benefit of reporting financial information should be considered in relation to financial reporting generally not in relation to individual entities so we need to see the reporting generally how we are reporting same like we need to see not like individual entities now we are selling that telling that financial statements now what is include in this financial statements what are the elements will be included in financial reporting a financial statement and what is reporting entity and the financial statements will includes assets 
liabilities, equity, income, and expenditure. These are the five elements will be included in financial statement. What are the elements will be included in financial statement? One will be asset, as liabilities, and next to equity, next to income, next to e expenses. Now, assets means what? Uh, li liabilities means what equity means what income means what expenses means what if we go with that in assets means whatever the entity whatever the entity present economic resources that is which is having economic resources economic resources means here which is having a right that to potential to produce some economical benefits even if you have probability of producing the economic benefit is low now which the um, entity must have some economic resource which that controlled by the entity then it will be treated as asset so asset means what having economic resource controlled by entity economic resource controlled by entity next after that liability what is mean by liability it liability means simply present obligations to transfer economic benefits economic resources so we are transferring economic resources here we are getting this economic resources so uh, getting resources means assets paying means going out means or transferring means liability next after that equity so equity means it is simply residual interest of net asset of the entity next after that the incomes whatever the incomes incomes means simply it means increasing our asset or it may be decreasing our liability then it will be income so which is result of in increase in equity so equity will increase next after that incomes we need should know about the expenses what is mean by expenses the expenses means we are decreasing our asset increasing our liabilities and our equity will be decreased equity will be decreased here equity will be increased that is expenses so incomes and expenses will be provided that is main now when we should recognize this balances so when we should be recognize this uh, balances the elements of recognition of financial statement only if we meet the above definition this definitions whenever the definitions was meet then only we need to recognize them firstly asset means economic resources which is controlled by the entity and liability means economic resources outflow has happened residual interest equity uh, uh, incomes means increasing assets or decreasing liability increasing the equity overall uh, expenses means decreasing assets increasing liability overall in decreasing equity whenever this definition was met then only we need to recognize the criteria was met then only we should provide then only it will be treated as relevant information and faithful in representation was provided now okay we are recognizing when we should de-recognize it so recognition is okay when we should de-recognition de-recognition means asset should be de-recognized when control on that asset is lost so here we say that whenever we getting the control we need to recognize as the asset whenever we lost the control then we need to de-recognize the asset for example if entity has transferred an asset but retain some exposure to its economic benefits then it will indicate that control on that asset was not last one and liabilities whenever we should we hear the present obligation is there then we should recognize the liability present obligation is no longer exist then we should not recognize the liability now for this uh, uh, entities we need to measurement so when a uh, measurement basis for recognition of will be we need to use different cost methods so we will discuss later and uh, a cost may be it may be historical cost or current value current values may be fair value or value in use or current cost it will be go in simply other form and the reporting entity consolidated financial statements claims elements of financial statements assets liabilities equity and incomes and expenditure whatever we are expending a definition of assets whenever we get the right whenever we get the control then we will go with this and after that uh, liability 
पोटेंशियल इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स व्हाट एवर द पोटेंशियल इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स कंट्रोल मींस व्हाट डेफिनेशन ऑफ असेट्स नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दैट लाइबिलिटी लाइबिलिटी मींस सिंपली वी आर टेलिंग दैट एंटिटी हैज ऑब्लिगेशन ऑब्लिगेशन टू ट्रांसफर इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स ऑब्लिगेशन टू देन इट विल बी ट्रीटेड हैज लाइबिलिटी ऑब्लिगेशन मींस व्हाट ट्रांसफर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक रिसोर्सेस मींस व्हाट प्रेजेंट ऑब्लिगेशन हैज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ पास्ट इवेंट्स आफ्टर दैट असेट्स एस्पेक्ट्स व्हिच आर कॉमन टू असेट्स एंड liabilities units of accounts ex- executory contracts this will be explained in other in the yes in the yes um to 37 i think so provision contingent liabilities contingent asset we will discuss deeply of this cases next after that definition of equity means simply residual interest after that incomes and expenditure incomes and expenditure means increasing asset decreasing liability it will be income de- decreasing assets increasing liability it will be expenses this overall effect will be it will be increase equity it will decrease equity that is the income and expenditure and the recognition we are telling that recognition will be happen only the above definitions were satisfied then we need to recognize if uh, how we can recognize the income recognition in debit asset debit liability whenever the balance sheet creating income so you need to see and initial recognition that is d recognition so next the d recognition criteria so so recognition criteria if we follow the above information uh, then it will be treated as relevant information and faithful information recognition provides useful information to users of financial statements so next after that relevant to you it will be relevant existence of uncertainty liability low probability of inflow or outflow faithful representation means we, what we are uh, range of possible outcomes whatever the exceptional circumstances other factors will be provided there and de recognition means whenever we lack the control we need to de recognize whenever we do not have the no longer uh, payable then we need to uh, deduct now last chap last unit it will be measurement measurement will be will follow simply historical cost or uh, current value current value will have another bifurcation so fair value value in use current cost this will talk in ndas 113 clear cut value in use this will talk in uh, ndas 36 where we will calculating the impairment of assets next current cost that is this will also known as entry price this will also known as exit price now what is historical cost what is current value they provided some here we can uh, go with this uh, monetary information about assets liabilities whatever the historical cost whatever the current value historical cost means derived value current using the information updated to reflect conditions at the measurement date then it will be current dated so changes in value is not reflected expected to so historical cost used only once in the balance sheet and next we will use the current values on historical cost means whatever the cost will be included in historical cost they are providing the considerations paid plus transaction cost whatever the consideration received minus transaction cost they are provided some information about that now current value current value means exit value current entry value entry value means current cost exit value means fair value value in use fair value means what oh, value in use means fulfillment of cost so this cost all cost will be talked in later individual standards in clearly current cost means what and in historical cost differences information provided by the particular measurement so whatever the information car- historical cost current cost so for carrying amount value transaction cost whatever included for profit and loss account what will be included initial recognition they are provided the simply tables for liabilities what will be included and the statement of profit and loss account so this all tables will explain in clearly with the problems in next coming standards now we have another concept like mixed measurements so we have different different will be there here so different different cost will be there if uh, in india yes does not implement a fair value model only 
so we can base on mixed measurement also so mixed measurement base measurement approach because using common basis for all elements may not provide for relevant for the inf information to users so that we can go for the uh, we can go for the mixed measurement so and after that some factors we use some other factors which are factors will be uh, relevant or faithful representations consistency or certainty or after that in middle we see that some conceptual frameworks say some users this main purpose user need information which allow them to assess future cash flows of the entity so according to conceptual framework if entity has made any decision to sell some subsidiary or then it should need to uh, classify as a discontinued operations and for that they need to see the criteria of in the s 105 which is need and in case of some different between conceptual framework so we are using conceptual framework as starting itself i say that if this conceptual framework is not a in the s now we have uh, difference between this conceptual framework versus in the s so then which should be followed if then will we need to follow in the s will prevail so if we have in the s then we need to go with the in the s next executor contract we see in executor contract executor contract means simply which is a contract which is unperformed which is unperformed and unperformed equally uh, unperformed will be equally means the person entered into contract the both person performed 50 percent so 50 percent service provided 50 percent amount paid that is equally unperformed the now no, neither the parties have performed its application no one started any of their obligations or both parties have partially performed the obligations also equally extended so both started and performed half and completed half received half that will be seen as it is both parties partially performed the obligation to equal extent now here neither the party started neither party started they started but off only then here it will establish one combined right and obligation to exchange the economic resources now we the type of executor contracts will be seen in in the s 29 contingent contingent assets contingent characteristics we will see relevance characteristics of assets and liabilities will be contribution to future cash flows faithful representation means what certainty will be required the recognition accounting treatment whatever the problems will be there and problems will be uh, explained in separate videos will be provided for uh, this problem so uh, next mixer approach this is mixer approach problem which we uh, explain mix, mixer approach is also useful for nature uh, impli implications of financing qualitative characteristics of measurements so whatever the provided you need to comparability understandability verifiability required next uh, factor specifying initial measurement of assets and liabilities here we have currencies transaction in currency what is there transaction in not in market terms how can we go more than measurement basis what we can use their measurement in equity how we can measure the equity after that presenting and disclosure objective of principles what are the classifications offsetting uh, before this we need to know about the uh, capital uh, lastly yeah, this these all are definitions simply definitions uh, classifications offsetting normally offsetting means uh, netting of net, netting of assets and liabilities need to mention separately always if netting was allowable then only offset the entity next classification of equity every notes to balance they need to maintain opening equity changes in equity and closing equity classification of incomes and expenditures so if you have selected accounting assets and liabilities we need to follow profit and loss account oci oci component will be discussed in detail in later and aggregation so we, if you want to aggregate any 
assets liabilities equity expenses that will be shared characteristic same classification if you have same classification we can go ahead next uh, after that um, you need to know about the concept of capital so capital concept of capital here we have financial capital and physical capital financial capital means invested money or purchasing power then the assets are equity physical capital means operating capability or productive capability now here we should know about the financial capital maintenance and uh, physical capital maintenance now we will go with the financial capital maintenance so financial capital maintenance is at historical cost now first we should know what is the closing capital so closing capital we should take closing capital how we will get this closing capital for this opening capital opening capital plus or minus whatever it may be profit or loss during the year whatever the during the year we got and minus capital withdraw during the year whatever the capital withdraw this will be the closing capital for this closing capital we need to deduct maintenance capital so capital need to be maintained will as per same as opening capital we need to this amount and we need to deduct this amount then we will get the it may be positive figure or it may be negative figure positive figure means extra capital we have negative capital means we have less capital this is financial capital maintenance and financial capital maintenance it will be calculated based on the historical cost so it will be calculated based on the historical cost if we the financial capital is at current purchasing power so current purchasing power now same we need to take closing capital first for closing capital we should take opening capital plus or minus and profit or loss during the year minus whatever the capital withdrawn same here we also taken opening capital plus or minus profit and loss whatever the capital uh, withdraw during the year we will taken now we also taken here also same amount so after that now we need to deduct capital required to be maintained here it will be changed here uh, last time for historical we will take capital maintenance as it is in the opening capital part in capital purchasing uh, we, we are using the current purchasing power so for capital maintenance capital to be maintained here we can go not directly the opening capital so last time we take an opening capital but we need to adjust them with current purchasing power so opening capital into purchase index at year end so as an year end and what is the purchase index and year opening opening will be denominator year end will be numerator then this amount will be deducted then we will get the positive or negative so if it is positive we have extra capital if you have less this will be less capital this is purchasing uh, current purchasing power method and then we will go with the physical capital maintenance then physical capital maintenance here same we will go with the closing capital first and closing capital means same whatever the items you are taking opening plus or minus profits or losses minus capital withdrawn during the year same will be there now we need to deduct withdraw whatever the capital we withdraw for capital withdraw capital to be maintained then here same opening capital we will take here the adjustment will be whatever the price of the product price of the product at year end so and price of the product at year opening so year end what is the price of the product year beginning whatever the price of the product is this will be deducted and the capital will be positive it will be extra capital capital will be negative it will be less capital this is the main 
will be provided in this conceptual framework financial statement and the problems and this test your knowledge questions will be provided in next video